Mr. Simons here. We are going to start looking at writing equations in slope-intercept form. Now, you guys have been exposed to slope-intercept form, all right? I'm being a little silly here with the wreaths. But our slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, right? And we know slope is m, and we know b is our y-intercept, right? So that's your slope, and that's your y-intercept. And that's kind of like the variable code for it that we use. Um, but what we don't know is we don't know how to write these things if we don't have exactly those two things given to us. And so what we're going to learn today is we're going to learn how to do that, how to, how to handle that when we have one of the things given to us, or maybe when they don't give us either one, how can we use that to find those things and then finish writing this equation. So we're, we're going to jump in, man. Here we go. All right, so it says write an equation in slope-intercept form for the line that passes through this point to 1 with a slope of 3. So this is what I know. I, I know I need to find slope, and I need to find my y-intercept. And they gave me slope. They told me slope's 3. So I'm halfway there, but they don't give me a y-intercept. But what they do give me is they give me a point. And so... What we find is if you look at this equation, if you look at your slope-intercept form, this y equals mx plus b, there's this really cool thing you can do with it, and I'm going to show you, is I can put in what I know, the information they gave me from this problem. I can put that into this equation, and I can use it to solve for my y-intercept. All right? And the way you do that is you just you look at, at what you need. So... I know I need to find m. Well, they gave me m, slope of 3. So I'm going to put that in. I got 3. That's great. I need an x. Well, if you look at this, uh, this set of points, they give you an x-coordinate. It's right here. It's 2. So, oh, excellent. Put that in. I know that I don't know b. And I also know that I do know y. They gave me y, they, they have y here, but they give me a y right there. It's 1. So what you can do is you can substitute all this stuff in. And then now you should see that, well, I, I only have one variable now. So I can actually simplify all this and solve for that variable. So you have 1 equals, well, 3 times 2 is 6, plus b. So now I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides. And I'm doing that because you want to get b by itself because you're solving for b. And I get b is equal to negative 5. And so I'm going to take that, right? I'm going to go, okay, excellent. I got, I got this, right? And I'm going to grab this and I'm going to put it over here. All right, so I got negative 5. And now that I, I know that, well, I'm going to, I'm going to pick these things up and I'm going to put them in this equation, this y equals mx plus b, right? And if you think about it just like that, that's, that's exactly what you're doing. You're, you're, you're dropping this value in wherever you see m and you're dropping this value in wherever you see b. So it's, it physically is, and I'm not going to do this every time because it's kind of ridiculous, but it really is like you're doing this where you're, you're taking this and you're picking that 3 up and we're taking it and we're putting it in place of this M that's here. And I'm just going to grab this, right? And let's see if it'll let me. I'm going to grab this 3 here. And I'm going to move it right there. And it goes right there. And then the same thing for B, right? Is you say, OK, I'm going to look for B. I'm going to get rid of this B, right? I'm going to move it. And then you take the B that you want, which is right here. We're going to pick that up, and we're going to put it, put it right over here. So this is supposed to be MX plus, right? So I'll go like this. MX. So it's 3X plus minus 5. Now, obviously, you're not going to do that most of the time. So what you're going to do is you're going to say, OK, well, I know B is negative 5 from this, and I know my slope is 3 from what it gave me. So you're just going to take your equation, and instead of writing m, you're going to write 3. 
you're going to put your x in, you leave your y and your x because this is a general form of the equation, and then you put your y-intercept in there because we found our y-intercept. So it all hinges around this y equals mx plus b equation. All right, let's try another one. All right, so it says write an equation in slope-intercept form for a line that passes through the given point and has the given slope. So we're doing what we did before. So we're going to write this y equals mx plus b, but we're going to put in the information we know and then solve for b. So I know what y is because it's right here. It's 5, so let's use that point. m is my slope. That's 3. x is this number right here is negative 2 and then plus b. So you have 5 is equal to, well, 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, plus b. If you add 6 to both sides, and the reason I'm adding 6 is because you want to get that b by itself. That cancels it out here, and you get b is equal to 11. So now all i got to do is i got to put m and b into that general equation. So it's y equals, well, m is 3 because m is slope. 3x, and then plus b, plus 11. And then I'm done. And if you wanted to, you could plug that number back in and check it, but then you would see it works, right? So let's try, let's try 1b, do the same thing, right? We have y equals mx plus b. It's our general equation form. We want to solve, we want to find m and b. All right, well, they gave me m, so let's put that in. That's negative 1. They're giving me x. x is 4. So I'm going to multiply that by 4, and then I'm going to solve for b, and then they give me y. y is negative 7. So let's do a little, little multiplying and a little moving, right? Negative 1 times 4 is negative 4 plus b. I'm going to add 4 to both sides. That's going to give me negative 3. It's b. That cancels out. And so now I know b, and I know my slope. And because I know those two things, I can write my equation. Y equals, slope is negative 1, so I'm just going to use negative because I don't have to write the negative 1. So negative x and then minus 3 because that's my y-intercept. And you're finished. And so these, it's just a matter of substituting in and then solving for b and then just rewrite your general case of your equation. And remember with the general case, you're always going to leave y and x just as y and x. The only reason we substitute in to start out with is so that we can simplify it for, uh, to find b. Okay? So I hope this is uh, making a little sense and a little helpful to you.